Let's have a look at writing our problem investigation question um, when we've got two independent groups that we're designing experiments for. So let's just quickly look at the process that we're going to go through. So what we do is we start with our group of people, all of the students or all of the people that we're interested in and, we, and are able to do this experiment for with us. We're going to randomly allocate them into either into the control group or in the treatment group. So each person is going to go into one of these groups and then we are going to do some kind of test or measurement on those particular people in each group. Okay, so when we write our investigation question, these are the things it needs to have. We need to know what are our groups, what's the treatment, what's the control. What is it that we are measuring? So am I measuring um, a test mark? Am I measuring the time it takes to do something? Am I measuring the rating somebody gives to my food? Who are my participants? So who is it the people that I'm actually going to do the experiment on? And I need to be talking about an effect, okay? And then thinking too, what can I, what kind of prediction would I make? So let's have a look at an example. So if I'm interested in looking at students to see whether they can write quicker with either their dominant or their non-dominant hand, here's, an ex here's what our investigation question might look like. I wonder if writing with your dominant hand has an effect on, and this is what I'm measuring, the time it takes to write a passage. All right, so that's the time I'm, that's the what I'm going to be measuring. And I'm going to compare writing with your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand. And then I've been quite specific that it's four students in MAS2 at, um, or OSC in 2018. So these are my participants, okay? So I've been quite specific about who they are. Then I want to think, make it a prediction. Think, well, who do I think? Well, which, which hand? If you're writing with your dominant hand or your non-dominant hand, which one do you think would write quicker? And I'm going to suggest that I think it might be that students write quicker with their dominant hand, and the reason for that is because if you're say my for me my dominant hand is my right hand, and so when I when I go and pick things up, I grab with my right hand first. When I need to cut things up, I use my right hand. When I write, I use my right hand. So that hand gets used more. And because it gets used more, I think the muscles in that hand would be stronger. Um, and so because I've got stronger muscles, I think that is going to help them write faster. So my prediction explicitly talks about which group I think would be faster but I'm giving a, a reason that connects to the response variable, so what it is that I'm measuring, okay? Then I would jump onto the internet, do a Google search, and see what, what research I can find to support that. And so I found a little bit of a quote here, um, and I've said what website that I got it from, and that's important to do, um, as I think that the dom so this is saying that the general trend for the dominant hand to be faster in manipulating objects than the non-dominant hand in both right and left-handed individuals. So that talks about the speed that they are manipulating objects by, and so I think that connects nicely with um, the writing speed that I want to do an experiment for.